Hey, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Previously, I did a review article on this cordless DeWalt grinder. It's a very nice tool, but it comes with an adjustment, an Allen wrench, to really tighten or loosen this flange nut holding the disc in place. And of course, it has that nice spindle lock, so you can really loosen it or really tighten it but for the most case most of these times this will uh, you can take this off by hand especially with a glove on but this tool is necessary sometimes but there's no place for it on this tool but I think I have a fix for that and let me show you what that is so to get a handle on this I looked at some other DeWalt tools that I have especially these brushless drivers they're very very nice and I looked at this bit holder and I thought, is there any chance this could be a benefit and this could be used? And the answer is yes. When you look at the Allen wrench that we've got, it fits into this bit holder slot very securely. Look at that. So I bet we can affix one or possibly two of these to this cordless grinder and be able to carry that Allen wrench tool with us all the time, not obstruct our work, and be readily available whenever we use it. It looks like a great hack. So when we look at our tool and our Allen wrench, this would be a good location for it because it doesn't interfere with the hand grip. And so with that in mind, we need to mount this device, this bit holder, which by the way are readily available online and we'll mount it here, probably in the center, because I think it holds it strongly enough that it'll be great. And in the center will be balanced. And then I'm going to drill through this part of the handle, tap it, and use a machine screw to hold that in securely. So the screw that comes with this bit holder is a 3 millimeter screw that has a thread count of 0.5. It's a metric thread. It's a three millimeter screw. So I have a packet of three millimeter screws here. And I think this longest one should do the trick. I think it'll fit in there nicely. And hopefully there's some good plastic material for this to grip on. If not, we can use an English screw a little bit longer and put a nut and a lock washer on the other side. So the first thing I did was put a battery in here to be sure that it wouldn't interfere and I checked the location that would be ideal and I made these two marks and we'll center this bit holder on those marks. Okay, I actually went to my English uh, screw assortment that I've been collecting for years and I found a screw that's actually full thickness, so I think I'll use that. It's very similar to the three millimeter, and it has a thread pitch of 32 threads per inch. So this is a very fine thread, but I can thread it all the way through, and I'll have a little excess that I can cut off, or if I need to, put a small nut on there, grind that or round that over so it's nice and smooth, and that will really hold this in place. But I've got to enlarge the hole for this slightly, and to do that, I need a 964 inch bit which we have here and we'll just drill that out just to enlarge it slightly so that this screw right now it threads but I'd like it to move in and out uh, much more freely so we'll enlarge that just a small amount the screw we're going to use is a number 632 which is 32 threads per inch and it requires a number 36 drill guide so we need to open our, our drill bit set which has lettered, numbered, and fractional. Fractional, lettered, and numbered. And we'll pick a number 36, which is right here. Sometimes you have to have these sets. 
This is the 36 drill bit, and it's supposed to give us the ideal diameter to cut the threads for that screw, that number six screw. So we'll just chuck up this bit. Light it up. And I'm going to do this in a drill press because I wanted it perpendicular. This was my chart that showed me the tap and the tap size, which is going to be a 6 by 32. And then again, we need a number 36 drill, which we have in this drill set here. So let's take a look at the drill, and we should be able to drill this very perpendicular, which is going to help us out. Let's just get lined up before we start. Here we go. And I've already marked the hole. So I believe that drilled us all the way through to the other side. So now we can tap this. Okay, we have our tap. We're going to put it into this tap driver. We're going to try to tap our hole. Try to go very carefully through this soft plastic. All right, we've threaded this side. We just need to be cautious to thread the other side as well. Okay, one small issue is that the threaded portion of the tap is not long enough to go through this whole arm. So I'll have to tap from this side as well. And just being optimistic and hopeful that the threads on this side will line up with the threads on the other side. I don't really see an alternative. All right, there we go. We'll take this tap out. Okay, so we've already over drilled this hole so that the screw fits in nicely. We've lined it up so that the tabs here We'll lock on this ledge here, which is nice. And then we'll just see if our screw goes through there. We'll just slowly run it in. Okay, we're on the other side now. And you see the screw just barely showing here. It's lined up. Now we'll continue to run that screw all the way through. And not over tighten it. But have it nice and secure. Yeah, that's nice. So there it is. There's the clip. We've got a little bit of extra little bolt here a little extra we're gonna we're gonna cut off uh, with a Dremel tool which is makes it nice and flush and then watch this here's that tool it's right in there and look it's not in the way it's not in the way of your hand at all it's actually quite nice all right so we have our tool here you can see when we grip it that is completely out of the way. So that is a really good way to, let's store this all the time. We'll always have that Allen wrench. And that's, a, I think, a, a pretty good addition to this tool, keeping this always with you so you don't lose it. Okay, now we're gonna take our tool off. Gonna lock our spindle lock here. Gonna tighten our, our disc. We're going to replace this in a very useful position. 
it's out of harm's way what happens when you grab that it's just completely out of your way it's going to be good and now we've got a much more useful tool so we're going to use this nice Dremel micro I have safety glasses on speed it up and cut this off Then we'll just sand that or file that smooth. All right, now we ground it off. Now we'll sand it off. Just have it a nice smooth area that won't catch your fingers. So there's a review on how to do a hack on this DeWalt 20 volt max cordless grinder. Again, it's the DCG412, and by putting on a bit holder, which are readily available from DeWalt or on eBay or Amazon, anything like that, we're able to screw right through it, th tap it, and grind that, that end off so it's nice and smooth, and you've got that Allen wrench with you all the time. So, hey, thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be reminded of new videos that are coming out. And as always in these difficult times, please stay safe. Thank you.